Welcome to an arrival video for the Quick Foot British Touring Car Championship here, the Lockring UK round, in association with Cataclean and supported by Events Scotland at Knock Hill Racing Circuit. An arrival video. If you're coming from my right, from Glasgow, you'll come up this main driveway which we're standing on just now. If you're coming from the other side, the left in Fife, you'll enter through the McIntyre's gate unless you're disabled, you have a motorbike or you have a season pass or if you're VIP picking up tickets from the team area at the top of this road. Pretty straightforward stuff. So if you're arriving from Edinburgh, Fife or Dundee, this is the road you will be driving up from the crossroads on. You'll enter the circuit at the McIntyre's gate and park yourself around the back. So we've made it from the main driveway entrance up to this point. Now on left and right hand side parking zones, that's for team parking, media and pass holders only. Not knock hill season ticket holders, okay? In this area on the left, that's for the teams and VIP ticket collection point. For everybody else, you head straight round following the road down towards the hairpin gate. Unless your bikes or if you're in a disabled car, you take a left and go up to the main knock hill entrance and then they'll usher you in to the circuit that way. You come from the main driveway area down to where you get scanned in for your tickets. Now, please be patient with our staff. They'll get you in nice and quickly, but you can assist them by having your mobile phone brightness as full as it'll go. Don't have it in dark mode or nighttime mode and have the tickets ready to be quickly scanned in. Once you get through the entrance, you can see behind the road which takes you down the back of the hairpin and then you get ushered into some parking areas. This is the main paddock. We've been outside long enough, we had to come inside. Quite empty today, but when you come here for the touring cars, you're going to notice just how busy it is. And when you're moving about the paddock, you've got to have your wits around you. Please always be switched on looking for cars which might be heading from their tent to the actual pit lane. Before each touring car race, the paddock will be closed off to allow the teams to come from their awnings into the holding area. So the paddock, great place to be, great picture opportunities, but always watch out when you're moving about. So with the return of spectators, we also have the return of the famous big screen. One on top of the quarry there, showing all the action from the other end of the circuit if you're down at the hairpin. The other one on the inside of Duffus Dip. So if you're in the Duffus Dip, McIntyre's Butcher's area, you can then see what happens at the hairpin for that all important last lap overtake. So in this area down beside the bridge, we've got some food outlets. We've got the karting centre as well, which is a ride and drive all weekend. So if you fancy doing what the race driver's doing on the big circuit, having a little shop with your friends, your family, go and see Chris and the guys at the kart centre and have some laps and some fun over there. Disabled parking and motorbike parking is also in this area down here, so find yourself a space trackside and make sure you get the best views. In the middle of the circuit, this is where all the team's hospitality will be housed and if you've got that, make your way over the bridge. It's also home to the Gary Stagg commentary box. That's where myself and Dr Robert Johnson will be calling all the races from over the weekend. As for spectating opportunities, let's go and take a look at my favourite. The best place to spectate at Knock Hill Racing Circuit is on this banking at the exit of the chicane. Why? When you watch the touring cars coming through there, the commitment and dedication to get a fast lap over the kerbs at Knock Hill is breathtaking. Watching the cars fly through the chicane, bounce out towards the gravel trap on the exit of the corner and then charge up to Clark Corner, it is the best place and it's possibly one of the most photographed corners in all of British motorsport. The campsite, and there's a few simple easy rules you've got to follow. The first thing, no fires. If you've got a big camper van, no big gazebos or awnings out the side of it. You can cook for yourself, yes, but you've got to do that with a little barbecue or a portable stove. The campsite facilities, toilets and showers are there. There's chemical waste disposal as well. Now if you arrive, park up nice and neatly. If you arrive after though and you're going to be taking your car out from the circuit, you're going to find yourself in one of the further car parks up the hill. The campsite though is a great place to spectate from as well. You can see all the way down Duffus, McIntyre's, all the way back up to Clark's. Let's head to the circuit office, which is now going to be your hub for all your touring car information. And to bring our guide to a close, the circuit office. This is where you'll get all your information from. It can be your hub of information for the touring car weekend. It's also the merchandise shop and we sell everything in there, from knock -hill clothes to sun cream and umbrellas. If you want to look like this, we've got a shirt in there that you can buy. We've also got some fabulous merchandise other than not kill, we do Honda racing stuff in there. There's some accessories as well. Earmuffs for the kids, if it gets just that little bit too loud, and earpiece radios as well, so you can listen to the commentary live. So that brings our circuit guide to an end. We'll see you guys on race day.